Hello guys and welcome on this new tutorial series on Blender Profiles. My name is Konstantin Semenov and today I'm going to show you how to recreate uh, at the beginning of my uh, introduction of uh, this tutorial how to recreate uh, how to modeling um, each part of the shoes and the cap skate so it's really uh, uh, easy to recreate that I think it is uh, uh, kind of pro uh, it's probably in the term or uh, tutorial yeah so anyway and uh, also uh, I will show you later how to put the texture but before uh, I don't know if you know uh, there's the new version of blender uh, 2.65 uh, that it was re released recently so if you want the new version you can download it uh, on blender.org but uh, for now uh, I have uh, the blender uh, the version 2.64 uh, 2.64 so I will uh, download soon because I'm making a movie so anyway short mo animation movie that you will probably see on my uh, channel on YouTube so first I'm starting uh, with uh, a, a plane to create uh, the base of uh, the, uh, my sh uh, the base of my shoes so under uh, my shoes so I don't have any Texture to recreate my shoes uh, on Blender, but if you want, you can uh, uh, do this. But I have my shoes with me, so I will well, follow the tutorial with my shoes. Okay, so first extrude out this object. So this is the right shoes. Okay, so we are creating the right shoes. Okay, so just scale it a bit more in the Y axis. Okay, move a little bit here, uh, scale a little bit down, white axis again. And now uh, I extrude out my object, uh, my vertices, and I put this one here, and I press S Y again. I had another vertices, and I put this little bit like that. For now, it's good. Okay, and now I select this part and I extrude out again. Okay, and I move just a little bit more like that. And I extrude again with E and I scale a little bit more in the Y axis. So now uh, it, it looks a little bit long. So I will press S, uh, S, X, and now uh, it should be good. Yeah. Okay, and now we can press Ctrl 2 to subdivide your object. Okay. <clears throat> and um, select this vertices here. Maybe these two vertices and put a little bit more inside like that. Yeah, it's good. And we need one or maybe yeah, two vertices. Yeah, two vertices in the middle and move this one here and move this one here select this one and put a little bit more here okay good okay um yeah it's, it looks good oh um they have a kind of big curve here so i don't really want this okay okay for now I create a save so this is my Vans shoes okay oh Vans shoes and cap skate oh my god cap skate okay good <laughs> and I will change this part and move a little bit more like that okay so like that it looks good yeah perfect and now I select each vertices without uh, uh, those vertices and I extrude out 
Okay. So I extrude out. A little bit more like that. Okay. Maybe again. Yeah, like that. It's probably good. Yeah. Now uh, I need one vertices here. So I put one vertices here and I scale and I uh, move a little bit more down like that. Okay. And I probably add another one. Yeah. Good. And I move a little bit up. Uh, select this vertices. It is vertices. And I move a little bit up. And I press R. And I turn a little bit like that. Good. Okay. And I just. Okay. Now it's good. And I. Uh, want uh, this is the top, yeah, the top, I think, top, yeah, and under my shoes, okay, the top. Oh, so I'm creating uh, the left, oh no, the right shoes, okay, anyway. And now we need to select this vertices here, okay, um, extrude. Um, Again, yeah, press T. So extrude a little bit out, scale a little bit down, just a little bit. I think it's like, yeah, it's good like that. Extrude again, but I don't know. Okay, this is plastic. Okay, I'm just seeing the shoes, so it looks okay so we don't really need finally okay so anyway uh, extrude out again and scale a little bit inside like that okay and yeah it should probably work okay and extrude again scale a little bit more extrude again and scale a little bit down like that and maybe um, select, yeah, select these vertices here. Uh, this one with that, okay, now it's good. This one, this one, okay, and move a little bit inside like that, okay, good. And now I need to recreate the rest of my shoes. Okay, so I select, so I think I will um, add another plane, yeah, I think, yeah, so, no, just select this vertices, so select one vertices and press Alt, Alt, uh, Shift, and press in the uh, right bottom, okay, and press E, and uh, no, Shift D, Press P to uh, separate your object. And now we have this object that it's separate with this. Okay. Okay. So now we can uh, continuing to uh, recreate the shoes. So I extrude out my object. Okay, like that. And I need to scale a little bit, uh, no, not scale a little bit down for now, but move up like that for now, okay? So like this one and move this one here. Move a little bit up. So like this one and move a little bit more like that. This one, this one, okay? And I probably put this one more like that off yeah and I select this one move a little bit down like that okay a little bit more again mm. yeah so I move this one a little bit up like that to be a little bit more equal and I select this one and I put this one here 
this one here, same for this one. Okay. So put this approximately, and I had another vertices, and I put this uh, one vertices here, another one here. So like this, and put a little bit down, down. So like this two vertices, and press R S X zero to the numpad. Okay. Same for this. Okay. Same for uh, yeah. It's good like that. Move a little bit more down, down like that. Okay. For now, it's, it looks not really like a shoes. <laughs> they have a big hole. Anyway, had another vertices here. Select this one and press S Y. Good. Okay. And yeah, okay. And I will probably select these vertices and move a little bit up like that, so it should be better than uh, uh, like that. Seriously, yeah. Good. And uh, we need to select this two vertices and press S Y. Replace this vertices here and put a little bit more inside same for this and probably uh, the same thing for this one good okay and I need to add more vertices so one more vertices here okay um, replace this one so G okay G Good, G, good like that, and this one again, G, so G, G, good. Now um, I select this both and I press S, Y. Just get a little bit more like that, and I select this vertices too, and I put this here uh, yeah it's too much maybe Sarissa like this and scale again in the y-axis and move a little bit more and scale like that so it will be better yeah and now I had uh, two other vertices here maybe move a little bit up mm, yeah a little bit more like that again good and now I need mm, um, uh, I need uh, maybe no I need nothing so uh, we oh yes we need to select this vertices here Okay, and press E to extrude inside. So press smooth vertex. Okay, um, move a little bit up, extrude again inside, and press smooth vertex. Good. And yeah, it's look a little bit better. Maybe yeah. And I extrude again, and I press merge at center just for now. Okay. And I replace this vertices here to create better curve inside like that. Good. And maybe select this one, move a little bit up. Okay, like that. Good, smooth. Okay, so if you see this kind of a dirty color or default, I don't, I don't really know what is it. So anyway, but 
delete this. Uh, if you want to delete this, you press recalculate in the normal, and now you have a beautiful uh, uh, texture on your object. And you do the same thing for this. It, it will uh, smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay. And if you have the same default, press recalculate. Okay. And I will probably move just a little bit more up here. Add another vertice, a little, just a little bit. Okay. And now we need to. Um, we need um, the logo for now. Yeah. Yeah. So we can. Uh, I will finish the, this part, yeah, this part. So add another vertex and press a little bit S. No, don't press S because if you press S, you will have this problem here, okay? So I will select, I select this part here, okay? And I just try, uh, um, I'm just trying if it if with the smooth vertex it will be better. Uh, no, not really. So I just select this and move up and move a little bit here. So move a little bit up and I do the same thing for this one, this and this. Okay, good. I select this one, this one, and move a little bit more inside like that. Good. Okay. So now um, I finish this part here. So I had another vertex, and I put a little bit more inside like that. Okay. Good. And I need to select. Um, for this part, uh, I will probably add um, uh, maybe um, another plane. I'm not really sure. Um, uh, no, I will close this part here. Okay. So. I extrude out for now and I press S Y move a little bit up and I press maybe another I uh, press E again and I oh, press merge at center and I move this here Okay, but they have a kind of triangle form here. It looks not really good. So I will probably move this or, yeah, move this like that. So we don't, yeah, we really see this. So uh, I will select, oh yeah, I select this part and press F, select this and press F. Okay, so we see again the kind of we still just a little bit the train goal, but not really. But we need to move this vertex here like that, or maybe select all of this vertex here and press just one time um, smooth vertex. Okay, good, really good. And I need to move this part of uh, the shoes a little bit more down like that okay like that it's good like that good okay and uh, now I need to put two vertices in this side and move so like this Three vertices, same on this opposite side, and move up in the z axis like that. Okay, and 
I finally, finally I close this part in and I press F. Okay, so it's like this and I press F. Good. Okay, so uh, now we need to select this vertices on each side and press S Y. Scale on the uh, Y axis. Okay. And maybe select this vertices. Mm. Okay. So now uh, I stop the video because uh, when I did uh, when I do a uh, tutorial, uh, it uh, it took uh, it take uh, a lot of uh, jig on my computer. So I uh, I stop the video. I save this tutorial, uh, this part of this tutorial, and I come back after. Okay, so now I'm gonna sh sh uh, create the shoes latchet here uh, for his shoes. So we need to create uh, the circle. So here, so add vertices here. Okay, so we want to have the the curve on your shoes here. So select the this vertices and press smooth vertex. Okay. Okay. And now we can uh, move this vertex here. For example, no, <laughs> no. So delete this one. Adjust two vertices here. Okay. And now we can. Press 7 and numpad and delete. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hold for each side. So uh, 1. So we uh, put this here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Same for this side. 1, 2, 3, Four, five. Okay. And now we can press face. So delete the face. Okay. Okay. And now we need um, one more thing: uh, the solidifier. So we had the solidifier. So I don't really remember. Okay. So uh, change the offset to the negative on this side yeah and put this to one probably one two just try it okay it's too much <laughs> really too much fat shoes <laughs> okay one point one it will probably too much bigger one point zero one it's perfect okay good okay and we just need to select this vertices and move a little bit more here, a little bit more. Same for this one. So now I adjust all of the vertices to recreate a better form for my on my shoes. So we'll add one vertices here, move a little bit more like that. Maybe I I'm not really sure, but um we uh, we need to select yeah we need to select all the vertices here and I press one time um, smooth vertex because they have, there is a not really perfect so if I press a lot of time on oh, now it's look I think better not really seriously but I uh, I need here not a, a really a big curve more kind of it's need to be more plate so I need to select all vertices here yeah it's a little bit complicable mm. yeah so mm, I really select this again and press S Z and I smooth this part, okay. 
smooth 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 rotate a little bit scale a little bit down it's like this one move a little bit down like that and just scale a little bit no mm. uh, we need to scale a little bit more down finally so I select all of this part is scale a little bit down and move here so it will be it's not it looks not more better but yeah just a little bit more yeah maybe if we up these vertices here up this one here like that uh, it looks better yeah okay so now I need to add and um, no I need to select this vertices here and move a little bit inside like that okay good and like that so maybe a little bit more here okay Yeah, it look better. Yeah, maybe it's too much, so I will replace that here. And I select this vertices on this side, and maybe press smooth vertex. Yeah, smooth vertex. It's good. Okay. <clears throat> and now I need to add another cube. Because here there uh, there is a logo of Vans, so we need to put this cube here. Okay. So S Y S X S Z for now. Uh, I put uh, four vertices like that, and. I just replace this here behind my shoes and press S Y like that and I and add some maybe four vertices like that okay uh, and it's a little bit more in the Y axis like that okay and I add in vertex so I put this vertex a little bit like that and I put one vertex in the middle and I delete this part so face face vertices here and I add a mirror modifier in uh, Y axis so I replace this vertices like that here okay this vertices here okay good Press E. Okay, it looks a little bit better, but maybe if I press SZ or put a little bit down, okay. It's like this vertices and move a little bit out. So like this and move a little bit more inside, same for this. Okay, and I press smooth. But it's a little bit large again, so press S X and move inside now. Okay. Like that. Okay. But for this side we need to move a little bit more out. So I just so this like this and I move a little bit more like that because it looks like that okay and maybe select this part of the shoes and put two vertices here select the face here okay without this one and I press E and I extrude out and I press one time smooth vertex good and now it's perfect and just put a little bit out select this vertices here okay and move a little bit out like that good and maybe here okay 
per fact yeah and select this face and move a little bit like that good okay okay and now we can maybe but we don't I think we uh, no we don't really see uh, the inside shoes so I don't really want to but I no I don't really want to work uh, inside the shoes we don't really see it so I will continue to work more here okay so I had my cube now so control C I had my cube um or yeah so uh delete this cube and i uh, a plane so i i want a plane and I press s or y to rotate your object to 90 degrees and the z axis in the 90 degrees good okay i move this one here okay and I press SZ and now I can extrude out my object here like that so for this one I move this here okay I put this one uh, I had a uh, mirror modifier uh, also for this object so I press project from view origin to geometry no origin to 3D cursor. So now we probably yes. Now we have um, the mirror modifier, so it works. And now press clipping to clipping your object. And now finally press origin to geometry and put this one here. Okay. And I had some vertices. Okay. So I select this vertices. And I put inside. Okay, uh, I select my object and move out like that. And I put this here. Okay, so I replace that. Okay, select these vertices and move this here. I had these vertices here. This, and I move this here like that and press. As Y to rotate my object, so I do the same thing for this or Y. Okay, and I select this and I move inside like that for now. Okay, and I press S and rotate a little bit on the Z axis and the X axis like that, and I press Control two. No, and now um, sorry for the no, <laughs> and I press really calculate. Okay, just for now. Okay, and we need to uh, create a ring all around of the hole here, but I will uh, do this uh, after. So I continuing to put this my object. So this object here, I move a little bit more inside like that, okay, and I press shift again, move up, change a little bit more the, rota the rotation like that, maybe like that, okay, move like that, so like this, and put this object like that, okay, it's better. Just press apply for this. Uh, no, don't press apply. Mm. Turn off clipping and press again clipping. And now, mm, this looks weird. Oh, I know why. So delete this face and now it should be work. This face too. Perfect. And now press apply. Same for this apply apply yeah. and you do the same thing no not for now but 
uh, press again shift D and move this object here good and now we can uh, just uh, no select this object delete the face in the middle press F apply same for this one delete F uh, uh, X and I apply again good so now I create the ring all around my object here so I will probably subdivide uh, in the view part to three and the render it to three okay my shoes looks better but not for now okay so I had my circle circle and I put this circle here okay so put approximately uh, move up extrude out in the vertex so change to vertex so scale a little bit down uh, up extrude again scale a little bit down and now scale again press ctrl 2 and select your object and extrude up like that and press smooth and roll calculate your object okay press R X to move this one here so try to position it this ring okay maybe press s z good but i want um that it's um uh, that it is uh, having a, a more larger so uh, select your face all your face here and then scale a little bit more down like that but I don't want this vertex here okay, now it should be work yeah good so I press shift D and I do the same thing here so S X move a little bit more like that s y okay and move this one here press s x okay you do the same thing for each circle for each all okay so you move this object here press s y move a little bit more like that and press s r r x you do the same thing here again okay r s Okay, R, Y, and you do the same thing again here. Good. So it's look good. And now we need to uh, do the same thing for the opposite siding. Okay, so I just move a little bit more this object inside. Okay, press R, X like that. And I press Shift D, R X, and you do the same thing again for each all. Okay.
Okay, right. So now I will stop the video to save this part and I come back just after. So now we have nearly finished the, the shoe, so we need to create the loop here. here. So now we need to uh, add another plane to recreate the loop here. So it's really, it's not harder, but just not easy to do this. So add another plane, scale down, move up. Okay, and put this one here. Okay, and I want to for just for now I need an. Uh, so we extrude down like that, but I need a mirror modifier again. I press uh, Control C to put your your cursor to the origin, so cursor to our, uh, so now you press under origins, uh, origin to 3D cursor, and you add the a y axis, okay? So we put this part of your yaw inside, scale a little bit down, and extrude out, good. And now, we can try to, to uh, create the loop. So press S Y S X a little bit more and move this here. Okay, add a new vertex and move a little bit more on the negative X axis. Okay, and now I select my shoes. Okay, so you need to create your loop, so it's a little bit difficult. So extrude again, okay, move up, and so uh, um, no, move this here for now. Press apply in the multiply uh, of your object, so you select this vertices and you move out like that here or right, it's a little bit yeah like that here and you scale a little bit more so scale a little bit more on the y axis uh, x axis okay good scale a little bit more on the x axis put some tree vertices move this here for example or more here yeah this one put this here okay good and you do the same thing for this object so L to select all of this object press S X and you select this part and you put a little bit down and you do the same thing so you put this here okay and press we put three vertices to here okay and maybe scale a little bit more on the s on the um, x axis oh no so it doesn't work so just turn this part okay added vertical uh, subdivision so press smooth um, add one vertices here to put a little bit under select this one and put a little bit here okay or maybe create some rotation like that and move this one a little bit up like that and select this one and I move a little bit up like that good okay I select and I put some vertices here for now and uh, not for now after uh, we need to add in um, another uh, maybe yeah a cube I'm not really sure a cube 
or circle no yeah a cube so add a cube no a plane it's better for a plane it's better so use a plane move this one here okay. so I will create a kind of loop here an attachment so I put this one here press SX scale a bit down add some vertices like that good select this object extrude out down like that and I move this here SX again okay so press S uh, scale in the down same for this here and here and I, I press S X and I put this object here under mm. so like all of these vertices and I press S S oh I forgot one uh, R Y okay I move up this vertices and put okay and I put one face here I move okay um, I move up with this vertices this so I press S Z I move this one here S I R Y okay X I scale a little bit down I select the face here and I scale up down here inside like that and I uh, uh, select these vertices here without this vertices and I press S Y I put one vertices here so now I can press R uh, R R Y yeah <laughs> it's a little bit weird okay R maybe R Y yeah and I extrude out and I move this one here approximately okay and I select okay it's, um, maybe I need to select this vertices and move a little bit here and now I can add in control 2 press smooth okay so like this vertices and move this here and I move this <clears throat> I select these vertices and move this one here add another vertices put one vertice in middle and scale in the x-axis like that okay and I duplicate this object and I move this one here okay not here but here and I scale a little bit more and I press R Z scale a little bit down okay good and now I need to create uh, the loop here so the round uh, the circle loop so I had a plane again and now I scale a little bit more down select these vertices extrude out extrude again select these vertices extrude again extrude again now and I extrude again press R Y uh, R Z and I select this face and I press F. Uh, I delete this face. I select 
all of these vertices here and I close this part pressing F mm. so I just like this F so select each vertices and press F uh, edge for each one good and now you can press SZ to scale a bit more down more down okay good and press ctrl 2 now now we can add one two vertices move this here select this part and move inside same for this r create a rotation move with g j g like that three vertices three vertices i move a little bit more like that okay Okay, good. S, X, better like that. And I probably scale a little bit more. Moving like that. Inside like that for now. And I select this vertices here. Press R and put this one here and I put this one here press R X and I position it this one here yeah good and now I press smooth on the shading and now I had another one pressing shift D and I replace this object so I rotate in the X uh, R X axis yeah our y axis and I move a little bit more here so I press I create a rotation with R X like that okay yeah so this looks not really perfect but it uh, it's good like that too so it's a little bit difficult just a little bit and now I finish to put this one here okay okay and I create the part of your yaw here so you put some vertex here same for, same for this part and you uh, select this face press E uh, no don't press E so now we need to add a cylinder Cylinder, where is this? Okay, the cylinder scale a little bit, scale down. R X, scale in the Z axis. Rotate your object and try to position it here. But before I forgot to scale on the Y axis. Sorry. Now you can try to position it this object. So this is plastic. Okay, R X. Okay, move this one here. R Z. Good. Okay. And now we can select this parts, this face, and move a little bit out and select this face and scale a little bit scale down like that and put inside like that good and I scale a little bit more because it's a little bit smaller okay like that it's looked better and I had another vertices scale in the x-axis so I select the edge okay and I select this part of your object and press Shift D and put this one here too. So I select everything and I press Smooth and I reposition it this. Okay. Good. And I press R, R X. So maybe R, R like that. So press double R to move uh, your object of where you want. So like 
uh, like that okay good and now we can select the face here and scale down it's like each face here they move down like that here add another vertices here and press S R X it's like this edge here R X good now it looks better and finally I will create the soul just inside because if I put the camera like that we we don't see the soul so it will be better so add in select your object this object and select all of these vertices here okay press shift T press P again to separate your object and now after your object separate press E again E again press uh, scale a little bit more and now press again E okay and now you can press merge at center good and press smooth select this and extrude a little bit down and delete the face okay and recalculate this because it looks very uh, dirty and you move this one here and scale a little bit down good and finally we need another thing of your shoes so add a plane and you move this one here and you scale on the x-axis and you move on the y-axis here scale on the x-axis okay and you add some vertices here and here okay and we need to create a curve here so press control 2 uh, control 2 okay move this here and select this face or why this face this vertices sorry okay good and now I position it this here and here too okay good so select all of these vertices here and scale a little bit down like that good and press smooth okay and put a little bit outside like that perfect okay so I have uh, I finished my uh, tutorial of uh, the modeling of the sh Vans shoes so I know there is uh, there are uh, uh, a lot of defaults so you can replace uh, your vertex here or maybe hmm, maybe I will delete all of this face here Mm. I don't know. So if I press smooth vertex, I don't know if it will be more better. Anyway, so I press maybe maybe if we press one time on smooth vertex, and for this for this is two, just one time and scale a little bit more. So. Select all of these vertices here, press smooth, this one too, smooth, okay, and move a little bit more here, good. Okay, it looks a little bit more better, a little bit more smooth. 
Okay, so it's perfect. So now I finish this tutorial. So I will show you how to modeling uh, the cap of uh, cap skate, and after uh, this uh, modeling of uh, cap skate, I will show you how to put the texture, and and after I will show you how to duplicate that uh, the shoes to create the left shoes. It's really simple to do this. Okay, and reposition it some object uh, like uh, the ring uh, to leave the, some uh, default here okay so thank you to um, watching this video I hope that you learned something in blender and I will see you and I see you next time okay, so next part uh, is the cap uh, cap skate so <clears throat> We need to go to the second. Uh, you need uh, to go to the second layer. So now we had a circle. Okay, we delete uh, half of these vertices, and we turn on the. Mm, okay, so turn on this bottom, the proportional edit, uh, editing. And now we need to select the root, okay? So I select everything and I scale maybe, oh. Hmm. Come on. Okay, no. I will, uh, I select, okay, connect. And I select smooth. So okay, smooth will maybe. I just need to select these vertices here. Hmm. Okay, scale a little bit more, like that. Okay. To recreate a capscape form. Okay, and. We need to create. Um, I think that we need to press S Y to put a little bit more smaller for the larger, and we smooth our uh, object. And now we probably need to select uh, this vertices here okay press s and no uh, dislike these vertices S scale a little bit mm, not it's need uh, okay so turn disable uh, turn disable okay and select these vertices and move a little bit up maybe these vertices here same for this vertices here, these vertices, and test vertices. You move a little bit here, okay? And now you select everything and you press one time smooth, okay? And now it will be better, but it's a little bit larger on the x axis, so press S, X. Maybe S, Z, just a little bit like that good and now we can add the uh, turn to origin to geometry and now we can add um, okay so this is the front of the cap skate so we select uh, these vertices mm, so this like these two vertices here Maybe it like this one. Okay, and now extrude out. Okay, so press E and extrude out. So turn the display. It will be more easy for you. Okay, and you move this one here. For example, select. Uh, no. Finally, we had some vertices here. Another one here. And select these vertices and move. Here, okay. 
So the cap's gate looks a little bit weird in this side. Okay, so I will. Um, hmm. I will select uh, this. Maybe okay. No, I know. So select the <coughs> alt part of your cap skate. Delete this part. Uh, maybe the edge. Yeah. And we had a mirror modifier in the y axis. Good. Okay, it doesn't work. So maybe face. Yeah, the face is better. Okay. So we need to finally um, select. Yeah, this vertices here and move a little bit more inside okay so I do the same thing for this vertices here just a little bit more okay good okay like that and uh, this one I move a little bit out like that and it looks good like that because he, they have a kind of motion on my cap skate and I need to um, subdivide my object okay good and select this taste face and extrude down to E extrude a little bit down and we need to add some to delete the, uh, the face here in the middle and we need to add some vertices here okay one two maybe yeah two and now it looks good and we need now uh, it looks good seriously so I deal I select this um this face yeah and i delete this face and i had some vertices here okay and i press kick and i press um right on my mouse right again right, uh, right and I press enter okay and I need to press K here okay good and now I can select test face here and I extrude out so I press E to extrude out <laughs> okay E good just a little bit good and I delete the middle face here. Perfect. And I add some vertices here. Good. Perfect. Okay. And now I will select. Um, this looks good, but uh, it looks like more a, a, a dome. Not really a real casket so I press S Z S C so turn clipping okay S X sorry not S uh, no S Y okay and I move a little bit like that and now it looks really better yeah looks perfect not perfect but it looks better <laughs> And I select this and I move a little bit inside like that approximately. Mm, no. So like only this and move this here. So like this face and move a little bit out like that. Uh, no. Select so this vertices, yeah. And now move a little bit more like that good and perfect so 
now we need to add some one one two three four five okay five vertices so one vertices here okay uh, one vertices here another one here and another one in the uh, in this side okay good so I select this those vertices here those one and I move a little bit here okay and I move inside like that good so now we see a little bit more of some form here and I add other vertex another one and maybe another one on this opposite side here same for the each other okay good mm, no, not this one it isn't, isn't good uh, okay no not like that but approximately like that good okay and now we need to um, delete some face so we need to delete one two three four five six face okay so one approximately here but before to delete we need to scale down on our um, individual origin one here this one this one and this no select uh, one two three uh, maybe hmm. okay so press E and scale a little bit uh, scale down so like this and press S so turn to median point S Y no it doesn't really work mm. okay so I rescale <coughs> sorry I lose my voice rescale like that like this two vertices and scale on the x axis mm, it's a little bit weird don't uh, doesn't uh, really scale correctly so yeah this is the only one who is uh, perfect when it is scale so I delete this face I select this and I press um, if I turn to this okay it's worked so and I do the same thing for this face I delete this face and I reselect vertices and I try to replace that correctly so on the median point okay s y yeah we're hmm. this one here here so we need to try to do a circle okay like that okay good perfect and I do the same thing here really simple okay good and now uh, we need to add in another circle here in the top okay so a circle okay and we so I disable this okay and I press it. so I delete um, uh, this part part here okay and I really uh, yes I turn on I press s and I uh, select my median point uh, where's my okay so connected 
Um, okay, good. So I select this vertices here and I press S. Mm. Okay, so I scale a little bit up, a little bit more. Yeah, like that. And we need to select this face and scale a little bit down. So I disable this and I scale a little bit down like that. And now disable, okay, scale down. I press subdivision surface and I put this object in the top and I press smooth on the shading. Perfect. So it's good, but it needs to be a little bit more big and press S, Z to scale in the Z axis. Okay, good. And now we need to recreate uh, the logo of uh, my casket. So the logo is LRG. So we need to recreate the logo LRG. So it's really easy to, to recreate this logo. So um, select a circle, press RX, turn to uh, no, RY 90 degrees. Okay, move up. And we need to delete this three vertices. Yeah, this three vertices here. Okay, delete this three vertices. No, maybe just only this only one vertices, just one vertices. Okay, move this in front of my cascade and I scale down. Okay, and I select my object, so I press A and I scale on this side. Uh, but uh, I but I need to reselect finally this vertices and scale a little bit more. <coughs> okay, so scale a little bit, approximately like that. Yeah, just a little bit more. And now we need to create um, uh, an arrow. So, um, I press E, okay, I scale my object and I press E, so I turn to the normal and I press S, like that, quite simply, it's perfect, I think, yeah, and now you can Press S Y S X like that. Good. Press Control um, Control Two to subdivide your object. Okay. Press Smooth on the shading. Okay. And add some vertices on your object for your arrow here. Okay. Good. Yeah, it's good. And now you rotate your object like that. Okay. And I don't remember, but they have a um, a way to pass your object on the casket with uh, the curve without uh, moving each vertices. But I don't remember. Uh, I think when you select this object. And you turn to the face, yeah. Select uh, project and development surface on another object. So you select this. I don't know if we select or this. Okay, select. And I think it's Shift Control Alt C. Uh, Shift Control S. No. <laughs> uh, Shift Control Alt. It's probably V. Hmm. Shift Control X. Mm, I think it's C. I'm not really sure. Shift Alt C. No. Okay, Shift Alt C is the origin. Okay, it's to move your object to the origin. Okay, so it's in <coughs> Okay, so um, uh, Alt Control Alt Space. Uh, um. Okay, active, 
give face snap to the element uh, medium point now maybe this okay uh, I don't remember how to snap our object so I uh, snap to the edge okay snap is I tried that no mm. select the face view snap edge uh, snap mm. mesh <clears throat> okay now normal face uh, rotate um wire and set face no edge snap 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 don't remember mm. snap propagate if I no snap uh, I think mm, maybe um if I press fall in face yeah active and I press uh, snap Uh, okay, so I will stop the video because uh, okay snap tag no okay so I will stop the video I will search the this bottom because it uh, it's, uh, it's it's very useful to pass your object on my capture cap skate and I want to pass the uh, 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 this object on my capskit, my logo. So I stop the video and I come back just after to search the the, bar, uh, the good uh, keyword. I remember how to uh, snap our object on my capskit, so my logo on my capskit. So we need to delete all uh, all of this um, face all around on my object. So we just need the uh, uh, this face here, this object here, okay. And to, uh, for our, uh, to snap our object, we need to, we press G control, right click, so our object is snap, and we extrude out like that. Good, so we have our logo on our cap skate. Good. And we need one vertices in the middle that we extrude a little bit out like that, okay? Um, and we do the same thing for here, okay? So like this vertices and move a little bit out. Good. And now we need to add in another logo, so I will create another thing. So um, we need a plane for yeah, we need a plane for this. So R Y ninety degrees scale down. Good. So put your object here, and for this. Uh, we need to s select this edge here. Okay, scale a little bit more, extrude out, scale again, extrude out, scale again, press merge add center. Good. Press S, S, Y, S, Y again. SY again too. And you extrude out, scale a little bit down, extrude out, scale a little bit down again. You extrude out, scale down, extrude out, and we scale like that. Okay? So we press Ctrl 
so we try to put this object in the middle, approximately here, good. And we snap again, so I press Ctrl 2 to subdivide our object. And I had some vertices here, okay, like that. One more here. One more here, okay, good. And one more here, S. So like this, scale a little bit down, good. Put two other vertices like that. And now we can snap our object on our cap skate. So I'll press J, R, left click. J, R, left click, okay. J, control, yeah, J, control, yeah, sorry. And now you can, uh, we can extrude again. And we smooth our object, good, like that. Perfect. So, okay, so I move a little bit more inside, like that. Same for this object, move a little bit inside, like that. Good, so this is my logo. And finally, we need to finish this part of the cap skate. Okay, so it's really easy uh, to finish this part. So we just need a plane R90, uh, R y 90 degrees, okay, and scale in the z axis uh, approximately like that. Yeah, it's fine. R y, and I move this object here. But I need to add uh, a lot of subdivision. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe uh, this vertices here. Okay, and we need to select this this ver face here. Okay, create a circle. The with the subdivision service. Okay, good. Subdivision service. Okay, and we uh, we cannot snap um, here. So I oh yes. So I will snap in uh, if I snap in. Okay, I have an ID. So snipe our object in front here. So J control left click uh, no so I just positioned this object mm, so I had hide this and move this here J control uh, left click R Z 90 uh, 180 degrees and I press alt H to um, see our object okay and I press E to extrude out and I move this inside okay I press smooth okay and I move a little bit more inside like that good perfect so we have this object maybe scale a little bit more in the z-axis okay and we need another object uh, so finally I do a mistake so okay uh, I do, I uh, press Control R and finally I need I delete this face. Okay, this face. Close this part here. F. Good. And I select this vertices and I move this like that. Okay. Press smooth on my object. Um, I press S to scale a little bit down. Or no, it was perfect. I press S like that to move inside here, like that. Okay, good. And I need to recreate another uh, object like uh, uh, like that with some. Uh, um, cylinder, then it can um, um, uh, crouch uh, each other. Uh, each, uh, this uh, two, uh, <laughs> this two object. Okay. 
so we need to add a plane so I will show you what I want to do it will more easy okay so move this here okay okay so I will create the attach uh, uh, object so I move the I scale in the same approximately size okay a bit more yes and um, I subdivide so I scale again in the Z axis here press control 2 and I put uh, a lot of subdivision uh, approximately like that good two vertices here and now you will understand what I want to do so select this face this 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 and this face and I press E to extrude out okay E again I put uh, and press ctrl R and I put this here and I press smooth on our object and for the clipping I don't know it, if it will work but anyway so press R uh, RX 180 degrees and move this object here okay so select this vertex it move a little bit more like that to recreate the curve here okay okay so move this object here okay and now we attach uh, this part into the hole, each hole here. Okay, so one here, okay, another one approximately here. Okay, good. Another one again. Good. Perfect, and I move this object also. Okay, good. Perfect. And now we can extrude uh, pressing E uh, this object. Good. Same for this. So, um, mm, no, I will uh, stay this object like that. Okay, good. So, I finished to create my cap skate. So, now I will uh, re uh, create an, another tutorial for so the part two for the texture for the shoes. But before, uh, I will add a mirror modifier to. Uh, recreate the left part of my shoes okay and I f for, uh, back to the previous okay good and I press uh, mirror modifier so before I select all of my object here and I press ctrl G and I replace some object like this one object and this object two good okay perfect and mm, okay so before I will press um, I forgot this um, no, I will um, uh, press a uh, mirror modifier after that I put all of uh, my texture uh, on uh, my uh, shoes and it will uh, and after when I will put all of the texture uh, it should be perfect to press a uh, mirror modifier. Okay, so this is the ending of this uh, tutorial so I hope uh, that you learned something in Blender and
Um, um, I hope yes uh, that I uh, learn on uh, Blender uh, on the modeling and uh, subscribe on uh, my uh, YouTube channel, comment my uh, video and uh, uh, share uh, my video because I don't have a lot of uh, view uh, on YouTube. So thank you if you do this. Okay, so goodbye and I see you later for another tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial series on Blender. My name is Konstantin Semenov and today I'm going to show you to um, uh, uh, how to unwrap our object and I will show you how to um, uh, put uh, the texture on our shoes. So first, um, open a new window here, okay, turn on cycle, okay, and select this part, so turn on UV editor here, so press U to unwrap our object and press our X 90 deg degree, so we take, we scale on uh, the X axis like that, okay, so we do the same thing for each object, so project from view are X, put this object here, scale on the X axis, and select this, uh, this object, project from view, good, this object too, project from view are X, and you move up here, and you scale on the X axis like that, and you select this object, and you press on project from view and you do for every each object okay so I just move up these vertices here okay good and I select this object press view unwrap sorry so select this object and press unwrap okay and for this object uh, we don't uh, need to add a, a texture on it okay so now we can add the, the material on our object so I select this and I rename this part one okay and I will uh, create an, uh, another material and I renamed this one black okay and now I I select uh, so I had another vertex here uh, here mm, no on this side so just here okay select the face and select these two uh, uh, vertices and press alt shift and press ri uh, right on your mouse so no this okay so may uh, I will do this uh, with the edge yeah like the, with the edge okay good perfect and I had the, the black color here so in the sitting I turn to black color okay it will more easy to recognize the, uh, the part where I had the color with the viewports on the city okay uh, now I need to add another uh, so part two Turn the setting to red. Or for this color, uh, my uh, the color of my shoes, I will put a. Um, uh, for now, just a red color. For now, okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So put the color. <coughs> uh, maybe it, it is a. Um, Bordeaux color, so kind of yellowish 
color not totally so move this object here and decrease like that and move a little bit more here okay good for the color of our of our shoes and press ctrl c to s copy our uh, number and press okay so ctrl c ctrl v to past okay so you do the same this is row okay ctrl c ctrl v good so this is the color of our shoes and for this object we just need to put in a, but i will select this okay so i select this object and this object okay and i press ctrl g ctrl g to select all of this object to be uh, in uh, one object like that so i had and what i renamed this white color so like this and this is plastic plus take okay so like this both object and press ctrl g good so we don't need to press an unwrap okay and we select this color and put the uh, part I think it's part two color yeah and inside uh, okay so I need to remove this vertices here okay good and these vertices here too good okay good and this part I renamed this um, white uh, I changed to the white color no so I renamed this only white white uh, this name is wit okay so I don't I renamed this white okay color good and <clears throat> this is a gold color i think yeah kind of metal uh, gold uh, reflection okay so i select all of this cylinder and press ctrl g put in one okay and i rename this metal or reflect gold good and now i need to select my uh yes and i forgot one object this one so I press 3 on the numpad or control 3 yeah so like this object and I, uh, first I had the app I, I applied a mirror modifier I select oh okay so I apply the mirror modifier select everything and press project from view and this uh, part I renamed this logo uh, fans logo good and for the cap skate it's it it's uh, easy to, uh, to put uh, the texture on so I select this part and I press unwrap okay and I remove this here and I press s y okay to scale up on the y-axis and uh, I renamed this red red cap cap red red cap turn on setting to red this red like that so I press control C to copy and control V to pass Control C, Control V, Control C, and Control V. Okay, good. And for this object, I just okay. So I select this logo, and I rename logo arrow arrow logo. Okay. Uh, I put uh, simply white color so this is white and this is press project from view or project from view yeah project from view bounce and I had a new so this is the 
simp logo l r g okay good and i select this cap and i put this with the cap red cap color okay good and for this object i put in black plastic i renamed this black plastic color black plastic color and the same for this object you know with the okay so we're uh, black plastic good okay so i turn to black like that for now okay so first i had the texture for this object this one okay so for, uh, we need to turn to node editor okay and we need to add an, a texture image okay so you put this here and i select uh, a lot of uh, I downloaded a lot of picture on cgtexture.com, so I don't remember which texture um, um, uh, go with uh, my shoes. So it's probably carpet, um, carpet. Hmm. So I select the blue carpet. Okay, so I select this. I download this image on CG Texture, and his name is it's uh, Carpet 0099. Uh, uh, 49, sorry. Okay, so we can turn to the render it. So now we see a kind of blue color. Okay, but if you turn to the roofness, you, uh, we now uh, I'm seeing the uh, this uh, the main color. Okay, so now we had uh, changed the world to white, and I return to the render it. Okay, so we see the color. So we need to add in a mix to create a bump map uh, bump mapping effect. Okay, so move this object, uh, this node here, and we can uh, turn this to the black color. So I move here, and we need to turn to add, or maybe it will be better if we turn to multiply. Okay, so. Now I had the camera, okay. So Control Alt A camera, good. So Alt G Alt uh, okay, good. And now I move on this side. Good, like that. Okay, and we don't really see the bump mapping effect, so I turn to one. So now we probably see it. We should see it. No, okay. Don't understand. Maybe if I turn to roofness, hmm. turn to add. Okay. Mm, maybe if I had um, if I turn to mix. Or, okay. Okay, turn to multiply. Okay, it's a little bit. I don't understand why we don't really see the bump mapping effect. Um. Anyway. Ah, it's because we don't have any lights, I think. It is uh, this problem. So I had a sample lamp just for now. So, no, I did. Uh, I had a plane. So Control C, put the my this on metal. Okay, so I had a plane. Move 
this plane here. Turn to emission. So I rename this light. I turn to emission and I turn to maybe three, four, four, yeah, four. Turn to render it now. And if I decrease on to the black color, um, we don't really see again. Okay, so we'll add. Okay, in add we see now um, the bump mapping effect, but it looks really uh, kind of weird texture uh, bump mapping uh, bump mapping effect. So decrease to 0 0.1, and now it should be good. Yeah, it is better like that. Okay, uh, so we select this shoes and we turn the black color here on the color not okay like that okay good and now I add I put the gold texture the metal gold texture here okay so reflection gold okay so add and mix Add and glossy. Turn to yellow. Turn to yellow and decrease a little bit more to a darkish yellow and probably for this diffuse. So I just okay, yeah. So a little bit more orange color like that that I decrease. Turn to zero. Okay, but I ah, okay. So it's it isn't a, um, a, ref, a gold reflection. So this is a gray uh, metal gray reflection. So turn to gray color. Same for this. Okay, now it looks good. Okay, and now we need to. Uh, put a texture on this object so add texture okay good and I download the same texture on cgtexture.com and the texture is carpet 0011 okay and I turn to the diffuse like that uh, to the roofness and I had a mix color to put a bomb mapping effect also okay so we see the bomb effect so it looks good but I think it's too much so I will decrease to 0 0.2 yeah 0 0.2 it's good yeah okay and uh, this object inside I will put a, a simple white color okay and now I will add the, the logo here but we don't really see it but anyway I will uh, show you to put simple I will add uh, this texture here to be more realistic so this is advanced logo like uh, I don't have my Vans logo. Okay, so I select like this texture. Okay, good. So now I have the Vans logo, and okay, so I don't really see. Okay, it's uh, this is this. Vans Lego that I download on Google, so you've you know, you've write uh, uh, Vans Lego, so you will see that, okay. And I will add another lamp uh, behind my shoes here, okay. So another plane, and 
I move this on here, scale a little bit more like that and put a light. So rename this light to one and turn to emission to probably one, it will be good. So two. Uh, so I remove this finally here, okay? And I probably turn to three. Yeah, three. Uh, yeah, three it's, it's good. But four it will be better again. Five. So five five. Okay, uh, like that it's good. Okay. And finally I will um, put uh, the texture on our cap skate. So I select our uh, this object and I scale a little bit more and I turn to put on okay so I scale up and I put on the second scene okay so it's a little bit I think smaller than uh, shoes mm, yeah so I don't need to move this one okay. So scale a little bit down like that, and now it looks better, good. Okay, so I move this here, just for now to see the logo. Okay, so I had the logo. So the logo is an LRG logo. So this logo, and I change the color. To the in the with the roofness, so now if I render in my object, we don't see the logo, okay. But if I put this here, okay, now we see the logo. Hmm. Okay, so I will replace my logo on my object. Okay, so I scale down, select this this and move down here so I scale a little bit down and I do the same thing here so I remove this here approximately hmm. or maybe if I move up just a little bit Okay, it looks better, but I scale a little bit more finally. Okay, and now I want to uh, to change. Okay, so I scale a little bit more again. So like this part and move up. But I want to change the the uh, the green color to the black color. So I just replace again this part. So you remove remove this one here. You do the same thing here. Good. So we return to uh, the node, and we need to we change the color with black and white. So the color rim. Okay. And now the color looks white, but I want this color black this object black and I select this object and I move to okay it's really perfect like that okay so you just switch the color and we add a simple texture on our, uh, this object so texture image move on the diff you put this on the diffuse and we add uh, Carpet 001. So I put this on the roofness, add mix shader, and move this object here. Turn to add. Okay, and I decrease to a black color here, decrease to 0 0.02, and it will be perfect. Uh, 
yeah. Uh, I will decrease again to 0 0.1. Okay, good. But it's not finished uh, yet, so we need to uh, simply change this color to a green plastic. Okay, so just turn to a grayish color. But we need to add in um, another bomb mapping effect that I will uh, not a bomb mapping bomb mapping effect, but uh, I will show you. Uh, it's uh, a color that I will uh, put on uh, my shoes. Okay, so I will paint uh, some uh, line to uh, recreate. Uh, the the same uh, texture of our shoes okay so we return to node press x press tab deselect this and we had another texture so let's line turn to 2048 to 2048 and the same for the 8 2048 okay press ok and now we turn to weight paint and uh, not weight paint but texture paint turn to texture okay and now uh, we select we press tab on, on our object turn to hmm. Okay, no, it's here, so turn to paint here, press N, and turn to a black color like that. Okay, and not black color, white color, okay, to me, it was perfect. Okay, so we had some line, so I just reselect my shoes. Okay, so press F. So you can do this on Photoshop if you want. I have Photoshop, but I want to show you how to do this on uh, uh, Blender. Okay, so press, you create some line all around of our object uh, here. So I just show you um, the road that I want, uh, that I will do. So I will put the line here to until here okay so so it's not really perfect in Photoshop between it will be better but again it just to show you to to do this with the paint on Photoshop uh, on Blender Oh no, I do a mistake, okay? I make a, uh, made a mistake, okay? So you put this here, okay? And finally, um, uh, we need to follow this part, okay? Okay, so I will stop the video and I will show you the final result on where I put the line on my object. So I come back just after. Okay, so this is final result after painting. So this is what I did. So we can see um, a cutter all around, of, uh, not all around, but where I, I drawing on my uh, object. Okay. So we return, uh, so we save this object. So save as texture. So shoes culture, culture shoes texture. Okay. Turn to comprehension to 100. Okay, and now we return to the node editor. Uh, we reselect uh, our texture, so the carpet, yeah, carpet. 
Okay, and we return to the render aid. Render aid. Oh yeah, here. Render aid. Okay. We select this and press Shift D to duplicate it our object and we do the same thing for uh, the texture so we select the line culture and we put this here okay so first we do okay so we add this with this okay so we probably move this one here so turn to one here okay And we see just a little bit the culture all around our object, but press control. But I want to change um, the culture color, the culture to a, uh, a white color. So we had a color rim, and it's a simply white color. Okay. So we change. Oh no, this is in displacement, so it it doesn't work. Okay, so I remove this here and here, and <clears throat> and we uh, put a head here. Or yeah, no. So mm, okay. So we put this here on the color but finally I need to reverse the, the color so this is white and the black color we change this for the origin color so we can change of uh, uh, what do you want of uh, each color so for me it's uh, this kind of color um not like that a little bit darkish maybe here like that but it's look purple again maybe here okay good so we see um the the marks uh, the couture but we see inside the the couture so it looks horrible so uh, you can if you, uh, you, you if you want to uh, create some uh, another uh, part of uh, what I'm doing okay so I for so <clears throat> you can uh, may uh, per, for example select um, this texture uh, this edge here <clears throat> okay and okay and simply okay so we select this not this object but this object this edge okay and press E and move inside like that so now we will don't see uh, the culture inside yeah but it's look horrible here so turn to object okay so finally I extrude again so I turn to render it yeah oh now it's good okay see if you extrude like that okay and you can scale down so it should work yeah good <clears throat> okay and I just want to change this color to a little bit more gray like that good okay so now <clears throat> I select all of this object okay and I press ctrl G 
Mm, no. Okay, so I select this part and I press Control G. Okay, we can add some vertices. So one here, one more here, here. Okay, so now it looks good, yeah. So we select the shoes and we add a modifier. Okay, mirror modifier, and I press Y. Okay, and I move these shoes on this side, and okay, like that. So we have uh, uh, the two, uh, the two, uh, the right and left shoes. Okay, so I move this here. I press apply. Apply. Okay, and. I select this shoes here and I press P to selection to separate our object. Okay. Hmm. Don't understand, but you don't want to separate with the other object. P. Okay. These two objects are not separate. Okay. Okay, now it's good. So I press the origin to geometry for this object and the same for this object here. Okay, and this origin here, I um, I delete this one, and now I can select the shoes. Probably move on this side. Yeah. Select the cap skate. So I delete the light for now. And I move the cap skate on this position. I reselect ca the camera. And I move this here. Okay. And <clears throat> so I undo because I, I don't. Uh, select my, all of my objects so now I can replace my camera okay here good and now we can maybe um, so move this uh, object for example here like that move this here for example okay jx jy jx jy rotate on this x on the z axis okay to put this object here Okay, and now we can, so we had a plane for the floor. <clears throat> okay, like that, good. Uh, we select this vertices here. I extrude out like that. Press Ctrl 2, put some Put, uh, press Ctrl R to add some vertices like that and press smooth on the shading. Okay, good. And I press S, Y and move on this ax axis here. Uh, on the Y axis here. And finally remove cap skate here. And it should probably be good like no like that like that okay and now we can render it our image so 
now we see nothing because uh, I just replaced again the camera but uh, we need to add a light so I move this object here like that good here like that R, uh, Rx maybe yeah so I think it touched the floor not yet okay good okay now I think it's perfect okay so I had a lamp I had a lamp so for the lamp it's another plane but I scale up like that and move here and I reselect the light zero and I, I seen the render it oh it looks on um, here okay it looks a little bit good but I probably just turn the color to a bluish color or like that okay move this object here like that Hmm. Maybe if I turn to six and I move a little bit more like that here. Now it looks better. Yeah. Okay, so we do a final render, but I will replace the shoes. <laughs> two because don't it's not on the ground good and now I can replace the cap skate on my shoes like that and move on the ground like that also and move a little bit like that okay good and now I can do a final render so for this I would just uh, turn this sample uh, sample to 100 okay so now I go to do the node so for you uh, if your GPU work and if you don't know to put the GPU here uh, you just go to your user preference go to your system turn to G, uh, open sale okay so for me it's Turks so it doesn't work for, for me the GPU okay so after that you turn to experimental and you have the GPU and the CPU okay good and now I return to my image editor okay so we will finish soon so I, I go to my render and I turn here like that so turn to this uh, node here Okay, and you add a, a viewer for now. Okay, so we can begin to uh, uh, start to, to put some effects. So uh, we need a, a convert um, a lens distortion. Okay, lens distortion. Okay, turn to one. Add a uh, blur. Put this one here, okay. Add a mix to turn to turn to multiply. Color mix, not this one. Color mix, multiply. Move this object. This here. You put this here. Turn off. Turn to fast Gaussian to relative to Y and to 25, 25, 25. Okay, good, and you add in math. Math, where's the math? Probably in the okay in the converter, and you turn to zero for the value, and turn to 
greater than so now you will see the hello after the my after my render it so it's nearly finished so we really see the, um, the bomb effect on my cap skate not really on my shoes so I don't understand why so we see uh, the white cutter but it looks not perfect you have some default here so in Photoshop it will be better so I return to my node but I will uh, do a tutorial uh, uh, for how to put texture for, for an object but uh, maybe uh, one day I don't know when Okay, so now it's we can. Okay, so I return to my node, and now it will work. Hmm. UV node. Okay, so I press N to zoom, to decrease the zoom. Okay, and now we can add a simple, um, simple RGB curve to increase a little bit more the color. Uh, the red color, decrease the green color. Now they, oh, it looks purple, but I don't want purple background effect. Maybe a blue effect, but purple uh, was uh, good for the shoes and cap skates. They are good. Uh, the uh, um, yeah, they was good, but I prefer blue color, something like that. But for this tutorial, I will add uh, this pink color. Okay, and we can add. Um, by example, um, um, converter, maybe in a color balance, yeah, color balance, put a little bit more uh, pink, blue, yellow, like that, it's good. It should be good. Maybe a little bit more blue. Okay, good. And we can add to increase a little bit more the the pump effect. Add in a, a filter and decrease to turn to sharpen it decrease to 0 0.1 yeah 0 0.1 it's good okay good maybe i will just decrease a little bit the color in rgb mm, yeah just increase a little bit okay and we can add in Lens distortion. Okay. And increase the distort like that. It's a little bit too much, so zero point fifty five. Uh, maybe to two and turn to filter. Uh, maybe to 0 0.2 yeah good to see some no it's too much production G 
cheater. No, it looks horrible. So cheater. Cheater. It looks a little bit good. Maybe 0 0.02 and 0 just a little bit for the dispersion. 0 0.005. Yeah, we don't really see the distortion, maybe 0 0.025, something like that, just to have some, a little bit distortion, okay, good, so this tutorial is, uh, this is the end of this tutorial, so um, <clears throat> I hope that you learned something, uh, on Blender for the mod, uh, for the modeling and the texturing, and for the compositing, I I do a lot of time the same thing. So next time I will more variate uh, my uh, my um, my effect on the node. Okay, and I will do more uh, tutorial in English because I don't really do a lot. Of tutorial in English and people better prefer to look at tutorial in English uh, than in French same if my English it's not totally perfect but anyway it's better okay so thank you for watching uh, I hope again that you learned something and don't forget to uh, uh, s uh, subscribe and comment on uh, YouTube and like on Facebook and uh, now I'm doing a, a website so you will uh, probably s see my tutorial on my website so it will cool so okay so thank you for watching and I see you next